Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to Bricksland Bricks. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Alex. And today we are going to be talking about the new road plate system. So, um, when we say the new road plates, we're talking about these ones. When we talk about the old road plates, we're talking about these ones. So, now we're, I'm going to say how this works. I'm Alex is going to tell a story. I'm going to say my opinion. Then Alex is going to say his opinion. And then we're going to... So, and then we're gonna, um, do the, um, last part of the video. So, let's get started. Alex, would you like to tell the story of how this happened with the new road plates? Okay, so, at the beginning of 2021, LEGO retired these old road plates that we've had for probably a number of years now. And then they brought in these new road plates, and... They're very different from one another, so we'll be talking about our opinion. And if Aubrey says something about the road plates and then I say something, we're sorry. It's just we sometimes have the same opinion, so we might say something over again about and the road plates. We usually have a, a lot of the same opinions, and that's why the city works so well. So, can I say my opinion? Sure. So, my opinion about the new road plates are i really like them because you can actually connect things like the new speed bumps um because now you don't need to just place them on the older base plates um and but i also kind of like how it's a building experience and not just you buy a pack of it and then you just put it in your city and then you're all done with it Mm -hmm. You actually but get the I, full building experience. Mm -hmm. And I I don't actually, I like these builds, but I don't like how you have to, how they kind of have to replace them again. I mean, not replace them, but like the pieces fall off. They, and you, They need to be on a firm surface, and if yes. they're not, then they fall apart a lot. Like we're on a carpet, and they fall apart a lot, so it's annoying if you're, if you're not on a hard surface. And that's basically my opinion on it. Alex, would you like to say yours? Okay, so I actually have a lot to say. So, number one, for modular buildings, if you have them, um, I don't have a modular pulled up right now to actually show. But what's going, but it looks like it, if you put it next to a, next to these new road plates, it's like the modular sank into the ground because with these road plates, you could tile them and then they could be at the same height of the modular buildings and then you could step down onto the road. But now you have to step down, you have to step up onto the road. And I just think that's weird. So now you have to put a plate under the modular to have it be at the same height as well as there's no sidewalks, so it's not that safe because on these mod, I mean on these road plates, they have sidewalks, and then there's the road. But these ones, you just walk out onto the road, and we had to put sidewalks here. And then um, my second to last thing on these is the the width of the lanes. So this tile right here would be the dividing line for the lanes right here. And that's a problem if you have six stud wide cars, is this is how tight the vehicles would be by each other. And that's super tight. So we had to make the lanes wider by putting the two road plates side by side to make wider lanes. So that's another thing. And then the last thing is that one, this is just, Another thing is that they're actually including them in sets. So like Shopping Street, Town Center, and the Family House all have these road plates, which makes the price go higher. So I'm gonna take the Family House for example. It's $50 in the United States, and I think it should be about $40 and not include the road plate. It's, but then also for Shopping Street, and also town center. So for all those sets, you th you look at it, and for Shopping Street, it's not that much. It's just two shops, two vehicles, and a little bike, and there might be more. 
but it's because of the road plates and how they're big pieces and i don't think that's necessary in these in these sets and then for town center it's just a car wash a pizza shop uh two vehicles two motorcycles in a park and a garbage dump place so that should be about like 80 90 dollars and then i think shopping street should be like 50 dollars and they should have not have included the road plates because it's just too much it adds to the price and they should just have people buy the road plate separately and unless they're just trying to make it convenient so people don't have to buy the sets and then buy the road plates to go along with it but that i think is my opinion thank you for watching please, please like comment share, share and subscribe and, and ring the notification, notification bell so you get notified whenever we post a video bye, bye guys